I'm going to turn to the Bible, turn to Titus chapter 3. So the tip for today was going to come directly from the Bible. And I'm just going to I'll add lots of my own opinions. <laughs> Titus chapter 3, verse number 9, the Bible reads, But avoid foolish questions and genealogies and contentions and strivings about the law, for they are unprofitable and vain. A man that is an heretic after the first and second admonition reject, knowing that he that is such is subverted and sinneth, being condemned of himself. So the tip for today is basically just to stay focused on the gospel. Because especially where we're going out here, it's really easy to, to fall into the trap of getting in an argument or getting in a debate with people. And the more you grow and the more you learn about the Bible, the more you know the Bible, it seems like it's easier to get into these debates because you know you're just going to smoke them. You're like, oh man, I got this covered. You got an answer for everything that they say. And the bottom line though is that if you're debating, that person's not going to get saved. You're not going to convince them. People who are already deeply rooted in their, in their false religion, I mean, if we give everybody a chance... You know, that's why we're going to them. We're going to go to them. We, we, we're going to love them. We want them to get the gospel. But if they're just going to sit there and try to argue with you, then it's time to move on. And that's what the Bible says here. So, like, if you look at verse 9. It says, avoid foolish questions. So, for one, like, just try to avoid foolish questions. So, you know, a lot of people, like, I've had people ask me about aliens. What do you think about aliens? Stuff like that. Just avoid it. Just be like, you know what? And this, is, and this is what I always do, or I try to do as much as possible. When someone brings up something that's just completely a side issue, nothing to do with the Bible or nothing to do with the gospel, you know, some, some random thing, I always try to say, okay, hey, I said, I, we could go over that and just admit, just give, just give me a minute to get through this. I want, I want to show you something real quick from the Bible here about, about salvation. And just try to, you know, don't just completely ignore them or dismiss them, but just in regular conversation say, hey, you know, I'll talk, we can talk about that in just a few minutes. I just want to, I don't want to get distracted from this point that I'm trying to make. You know, and, and, and usually they forget about it anyways. Like, you know. But, I mean, it's not, a, it's not that bad to go to it afterwards, but the whole point is to get them the gospel. We don't want to get sidetracked in all these rabbit trails because you can get sidetracked and talk for hours without making any progress, without getting anything done. So avoid foolish questions, genealogies, we don't have to worry about too much, contentions, strivings about the law, people just, just hammering on the law and stuff. Again, this is uh, people who are just arguing because they have their belief and you have yours and they're just going to argue with you about it. Now, I don't want to get this confused with um, spending time with people who don't understand and then ask questions. Right, because people who are interested in learning, or maybe they've been taught a certain way, so they're bringing up points. But it's not quite the same. You got to you got to be able to judge this because it's not quite the same as someone who's just there to argue with you. Yeah. There's two different types of people. There's the one that's just they want to teach you something, and they're going to tell you the way things are, and then, you know, no, 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 you got that right. You know, like those people. You give them, like it says here in verse number 10, a man that is an heretic after the first and second admonition, reject. Yeah. You give them two chances. So you want to say, hey, I want to show, you know, if they start denying that Jesus Christ is the Lord, is, is God in the flesh, something like that, you could say, okay, well, look. Look what the Bible says right here. Show them a Bible verse. And they say, well, no, no, no. See, that means, you know, okay, well, look what it says right here. You give them another chance. You know, you show them a couple places. And if they're still just, just adamant, they're just not getting it, it's time to just move on. Um, you know, hopefully, you know, plant the seed, maybe further on down the road, somewhere else in their life, someone else will talk to them, whatever. But at that point, if they're not going to listen to you, if they're a heretic, see, a heretic is someone who's, who's promoting false doctrine and, like, teaching false doctrine. Not just your average lost person who's just confused and doesn't get it and doesn't understand. Those are the two different types of people. So just... Try to stay away from the heretics. Give them, give them, a, you know, we love them. We give them a couple chances, and then if they, if they don't, it's time to move on to the next door because people are going to want to listen. We'll find someone that's willing to listen. And then, uh, but otherwise, I mean, you, you've seen Rick. Well, we've gone out so long. I've spent quite a bit of time with someone when they're having a conversation with you and they're receiving what you're saying and thinking about it. You know, yeah, they might be bringing up other issues and stuff, but that's that's fine. That's normal. It's not a it's not like this debate or these contentions or strivings about the law. Yeah. It's
it's just, you're just trying to help explain and show evidence and show proof for why we believe what we believe. Those people I invest a lot more time in. But the heretics, the, I mean, you run into the, if you're going to run into the Mormons, the Jehovah's Witnesses, or whoever, who are just really founded in their false religion, and you try to talk to them about it, and they, they, they're just adamant, and they, and they, you know, they're denying it. After a couple admonitions, say, okay, see ya, yeah. and move on to the next door. Because we don't want, the last thing we want to do is just waste our time or spin our wheels. I've, I mean, I've won debates before, and it's completely unprofitable in vain. Yeah. It did nothing for that person's soul. <clears throat> it did nothing for me. I mean, I just, I won an argument, but so what? I mean, we're not out to win arguments, we're out to win souls. Yeah. So, that's it. Let's go ahead and pray before we get started out. Dear Lord, uh, we thank you so much for this opportunity to go soul winning. I pray that you would please just lead and guide us and direct us. God, I know that there's people out here that are saved and that need to get in a good church. I pray that you would please lead us to them. And Lord, we know that there's lots of people who are not saved here. We pray that you would please just work in their hearts as you direct us. And get these people thinking about their about their religion, about their salvation, so that they'd be receptive to at least talking about the gospel and about the Bible, dear God. And that you just fill us with your spirit and your power. Give us the boldness that we need to open up our mouth, dear God, and give us the clarity of mind to be able to present your, your good news in a way that people can understand it. And Lord, we thank you and we love you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.